name is Matthew Standridge. I am a clinical instructor here for Garrity Orthodontic Seminars. And I just want to take a few minutes to catch up with someone who really doesn't need an introduction. We all know her and love her. Uh, Kay Garrity, our Director of Education here at GOS. So Kay, thanks for us making some thanks time. Thanks for having me here. Yeah. Hello, everyone. So we're just finishing up with our annual symposium here in Tulsa. And it's just been an amazing weekend. Um, the, the energy and it's just the feedback that we're already getting has just been... It's been incredible. Yeah. It truly has. It's beyond anything I ever expected. Uh, we wanted this to be a tribute to Big Bob. And that was our goal. And we've exceeded every expectation that I could possibly have. It's been truly um, an energetic, enthusiastic, positive, um, just a great great weekend lots of good speakers mm -hmm. good information um, so I, I, I couldn't be happier than than what everybody has said same here and I'm, what I'm really excited is t uh, tomorrow is our third day of the symposium and tomorrow for the first time we'll be unveiling the uh, case of the year award Yes. Um, so some uh, lucky student, not lucky because they worked for it, but... Um, I'm looking you know. really forward to it because I, I think that would please Bob. One of his greatest satisfactions was seeing somebody do really good work. Mm -hmm. And so we have uh, made the Robert G. Garrity Case of the Year Award. This is our first presentation and I'm pretty excited about it. Yeah, me too. Um, so. We're, next month, which will be September, is going to be the first session yes. of our comprehensive course. Now before we go into the comprehensive course and what that entails, for those people who don't know the history of Garrity Orthodontic Seminars, could you give us a brief summary about um, Robert G. Garrity, um, lovingly known as Big Bob, could you tell us a little bit about the backstory of how Big Bob became really a leader in orthodontic teaching and instruction. Could you tell us a little bit about that? Yes, uh, Bob actually started teaching uh, on a smaller scale in the mid-70s and uh, he was very good at what he did and enjoyed it and he saw a lot of implication and a lot of need for um, an orthodontic course. He'd really struggled to get his information and so he decided that he would start um, a beginning, intermediate, and advanced level course. But he found out that that wasn't very um, effective because he would have pe had people with different levels of learning, different levels of experience, and they would be in the wrong course. So he developed and, and what was the first extended orthodontic program where we would meet, the same group of people would meet uh, five times a year and it has always been a five session format and we continue that five session format today. Wonderful. So speaking of that five session format, um, we are keeping that but there is a bit of, I guess the right word would be reprioritization. That would be a great, that's a great word. And so we're still keeping all the information there but there, it's a, there's been such an influx of new information that we keep building upon that we've had to kind of restructure it. Cause, so could you describe a little bit about what's well, going to be different Well, for example, with session one, uh, we're cutting back on the amount of time we spend with teaching cephalometric tracing because most of it is done third-party digital mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. So we're cutting back the time we spend on that so that we can focus more on clinical projects. Clinical photography in particular is one of the programs that we really want to introduce to our doctors. We've always done it with the staff for our staff training. We've never made it something that we did with the doctors. So we're doing that this year with session one. Um, we're changing some things up for the fifth session. It's probably going to be one of our bigger changes because in the past it's always been a review of the previous four sessions. This year we're going to make um, changes to session four so that it's totally interceptive phase one early treatment and then for session five it's going to be all new material uh, adult treatment reverse face mask some out of the box things that don't follow a regular comprehensive plan and, and that's what I that's what I love about this uh, curriculum is because 
it's good for it's good for people who have zero orthodontic experience but then it's good for those intermediates they have the pe people who have some cases under their belt but want to learn some more advanced we don't break things up into a beginning beginner intermediate Not at advanced all. you get all of our all of our information in this one absolutely course. and that's why we uh, really try to hammer home of coming back for your complimentary monitoring um, year so your second year of education which you still get another hundred credit hours for um, but absolutely every time that you come back you're just you're sharpening that wheel and you're absorbing more and more because you just can't get everything the first time through I think there's so much information there and, and one of the things that I have have learned from participants this weekend because there's a certain core group of our membership that comes back every year for our annual symposium and been with us for 30 years. We have a great number of people that we have never heard us speak before at the symposium this weekend and they've had a lot of orthodontic experience but they're still ha have picked up so many things and that's for like monitoring our course our five session mm -hmm. course as well even though you've got a lot of orthodontic experience you can still pick up a lot of information because as you said we're still changing and adding and yeah. and trying to improve right. what we're doing and then, and lastly, um, I would say the another thing that really separates us from the pack would be the amount of individualized attention and the amount of instructor to student ratio that we have um, is just second to none. I, I absolutely agree. I know of no other course available anywhere where you have five full-time instructors on hand and I have, have said this and I, and I will say it now, I've said it several times, one of the best things that's happened to our program is the addition of Matt Standridge, Michael Ald, Damon Huffman, because they bring a, a, a youth to the program and the enthusiasm and the passion for it and they're hungry. They want to share their information. They are um, just it, so it's made a world of difference, and in that comes w comes their knowledge that we incorporate into the program. So um, I, I think that we are. Um, I, I couldn't be any happier with where we are, but I think there is so much more in store as we continue to change and build. I, I fully agree, and the fact that each instructor has such a zest for teaching and for coaching. Um, mm -hmm. It's not uncommon for us to be here a couple of later, uh, hours later after, this, after the class is over, going over cases with students and... And, the, and we'll have the students' cases and then six people watching the students' cases. And, <laughs> and uh, it, it, it truly is, they do it with joy. Uh, we were here last night until eight o'clock looking at cases and, and it is a labor of love and I think that the comments, most of the comments that I have heard have been specifically pointed to the support of the instructors and the input of the instructors during the presentation. Wonderful. So I'm really excited. We, we're wrapping up a great weekend here. Um, just really, really good feedback, high energy. Yes. And Really excited to kick off a new uh, new comprehensive course uh, here in a month. So absolutely, so absolutely. If, if you're interested and would like to sign up for the comprehensive course, um, would you like some more information on that? Feel free to visit our website, orthodontictteaching.com. Um, also, you can see information on our online curriculum which will be going through some major revamping here pretty soon. Yes, it is. So that's another exciting, uh, n another exciting project that we have going. And um, if, you, if anybody has any questions or would like to reach out to one of the instructors, um, we, we make ourselves available. So uh, feel free to contact us and we'd love to help you out. Absolutely, and uh, on our website are, are the phone numbers. If you're still one of the people that like to call and sign up, you can, we absolutely furnish the phone numbers so you can contact us directly. You can contact us by email. You can contact us with, through the website with uh, uh, contact information on our website. Wonderful. So again, Kay, thank you for sitting down. Matt, thank you. Good to catch thank you. Thank you very, very much. It was a great weekend. And I hope to uh, hear from you guys soon. Take care. Thank you.